guilty of murder. Tonight, a jury has convicted Russell Tillis for the murder of Joni Gunter, whose remains were found on his property. It took the jurors five hours and 14 minutes to come to that verdict. Tillis was also found guilty of kidnapping and abusing a dead body and not guilty of human trafficking. For Gunter's family, this is the next step in a five-year-long fight for justice in her death. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel was in the courtroom tonight when the verdict came down. She's joining us live outside the courthouse. So, Corley, how did Tillis react in that moment? This week, Russell Tillis was outspoken and emotional, but when that verdict came down, we didn't see much reaction from Tillis. Now, Joni Gunner's loved ones were in court today, and they did seem relieved that now they're a step closer to justice. Now, we do want to warn you that some of the evidence shared in the trial is disturbing. Russell Tillis showed little emotion as he heard the jury's verdict. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of first-degree murder as charged in the indictment. We further find the killing was premeditated. The jury believes he murdered 30 year old Joni Gunner in 2015. Police say her dismembered body was found buried in the backyard of Tillis's Southside home in 2016. Officers and neighbors called it a house of horrors. While in jail, prosecutors say Tillis confessed to the vicious murder to another inmate who was wearing a wire. I cut her up, man. Just cut her head off, cut her arms off, cut her legs off, and uh, get her down to the torso and leave her on the plastic. I said, I'll take care of that. On Thursday, Tillis took the stand, recanting what was said in the recording, claiming he had nothing to do with her murder and pinning the blame on his brother, who he claimed showed him Gunter's body, even though his brother was never named a suspect. That's the first time I've seen Joni Gunner. What did you see? Well, she was. She was in the trunk and there was a mass amount of blood on her chest when she was dead. The state claimed there was more evidence than just recording that proves Tillis is guilty. You cannot take a hammer and then strike at least five times on the top of the head unless you have thought about that decision to kill. The defense argued Tillis wasn't the mastermind behind Gunner's death and was in jail for a different charge and wanted a way out. This is a case about a very despondent, depressed, suicidal individual who was looking at 30 years on the case that he was in there on. The jury didn't buy it. Now his life is at jeopardy. Tillis now faces the death penalty or a minimum life in prison sentence. The jury will meet back here at the courthouse on Wednesday morning where they will begin the penalty phase. Reporting live from downtown, Corey Lee Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.